Hi everybody and welcome to the first of the Fidelis 5 Minute Fix videos where we take a look at the, some of the common and some of the not so common bugs that you'll find in your Abacus FEA models. We're not trying to get too much into what's happening mathematically here or else that'll take a lot more than 5 minutes but rather what to look for when you're debugging the problems. In this case we're looking at a static analysis experiencing that what's called rigid body motion. We've applied a load to one side of this block, uh, but we've forgotten to constrain it anywhere, hence static equilibrium can't be found, uh, and in reality the block would be essentially accelerating forever. Obviously we've done this on purpose, but when it happens in real life it can be annoying and sometimes tricky to diagnose. Remember Abacus almost never tells you straight up what the exact, exact problem is, uh, but it will give hints when combined together can certainly put you on the right track. That's why we call it debugging after all. In this case, the message file here is our best friend probably. It's going to tell us what's going on here in the model and why it didn't solve. So what we can see is we've got numerical singularities um, in every degree of freedom at certain nodes and that's never a good thing. If we had more than one part in the model, we can use the nodes that are the issue to find which part that is by using the group manager and looking for that particular node like this. We can also uh, take a look and see if there are any unconnected regions within the model which can be another sign that we might have some rigid body motion going on. Now fortunately this is a reasonably easy fix for us because all we need to do is actually apply a boundary condition. So if we go back to our load module in CAE, we can see that we've got only the pressure but no boundary condition. The pressure is applied to this face. So I think if we apply a boundary condition over here, oops, boundary condition, and we say we're gonna just fix it in place. Okay, and that should be all we need to do to get this job to run. So if we submit the job right now, this should run very, very quickly because it's an extremely small um, job. And now instead of having uh, a bunch of increments that all failed, we have one increment, the model ran successfully, and we can view the results, which should be just the, yep, so the, essentially the, the cube got crushed a little bit with that pressure. So hopefully that was useful for you guys and um, we will be back in the future with more less than five minute fixes and abacus debugs. Thanks and have a great day.